The Macabre Secret of Medieval Pharmacies Today on Echoes Through Time Channel, we will talk about mummies. Among the many dubious medical beliefs practiced in Europe during the Middle Ages, one stands out for its macabre nature. A remedy known as mummy, which, as its name suggests, was made from mummy remains. As absurd as it may seem, its use spread for at least five centuries and was used for all kinds of ailments, from headaches or indigestion to the bubonic plague. Needless to say, without any effect. Where did the belief in such an absurd remedy come from? Probably from a translation or interpretation error when describing a real remedy. During the Middle Ages, Islamic territories, especially Persia, were the most advanced in medicine. Persian doctors used a remedy called mamiya, a type of bitumen used to heal wounds and bone fractures. Due to its similarity to the Latin term mumia, mummy, and the resins used by the ancient Egyptians to embalm their dead, confusion likely arose. It's hard to believe that someone with medical knowledge would not notice the difference, so it is more likely that the error occurred when translating Arabic texts probably by someone who had never seen mumia and assumed mumia referred to a complete mummy rather than the resins. Additionally, the remedy was introduced to Europe in the 12th century, coinciding with the Crusades and a greater availability of Arabic manuscripts for European translators and scribes. In fact, the translators themselves did not agree on what exactly the mummy was, and as time went by, the idea became increasingly strange. For example, in some documents, it is described as a spice found in the tombs of the dead, Matthias Platerius, 12th century, while in others, it is described as the liquid exuded by the dead, mixed with aloes, Gerardo de Cremona, early 14th century. The concept degenerated into the embalmed flesh of a dead person, Giovanni de Vigo, early 16th century, and even the body of a man who did not die a natural death but died violently with a disease-free body, Paracelsus, also in the 16th century. The remedy dispensed in European apothecaries, the predecessors of pharmacies, was as inconsistent as the preceding descriptions. In some cases, it was resins extracted from mummies, mixed with spices. In others, it was pulverized human remains. Initially, Authentic Egyptian mummies were imported, but eventually, the authorities of the country prohibited this practice, so the raw material was replaced by recently embalmed corpses, often executed convicts, to make them look like genuine mummies. By the Renaissance, it had been proven that the mummy understood as an extract of mummy had no beneficial effect on health and could actually be harmful. However, there were still numerous cases where it was used, even by highly educated individuals. The fact is that, as it was such a heterogeneous remedy, in some cases closer to the original mamiya, that is, certain types of resins, it could have some use as a wound healer. Paradoxically, this false remedy was the closest to the original and the only one that seemed to have any utility. By the 18th century, mummy was increasingly rare and had become a resource for desperate cases. In the following century, its prescription was completely abandoned, although it took a few more decades to completely disappear from remedy lists. Subscribe for more videos.